Watercress by Andrea Wang and pictures by Jason Chin. The tops of the corn stalks make lines that zigzag across the horizon. Mom shouts, look, and the car comes to an abrupt jerking stop. Mom's eyes are as sharp as the tip of a dragon's claw. Dad's eyes grow wide. Oh, watercress, they exclaim. Two voices, heavy with memories. They haul us out of the back seat. We are told to untie our sneakers, peel off our socks, and roll up our jeans. We have to help gather it. The water in the ditch is cold. It stings my ankles, and the mud squelches up between my toes. My brother yanks watercress up by the handful, roots dripping dirty water onto my shirt, and thrusts it close to my face. There are tiny snails clinging to the underside. I squirm away. The bag in my hand grows heavier and heavier with the weight of all the watercress. The paper is soaked and I'm half afraid, half hopeful that the bottom will split, sending all the plants back down into the muck. On the dinner table that night is a dish of watercress glistening with a garlicky oil and freckled with sesame seeds. The mud and the snails are long gone, but I still don't want to eat it, any of it. I only want to eat vegetables from the grocery store. Mom sighs and disappears into the room, returning with an old photograph. My family, she says, from before. We stare. Mom never talks about her China family. She points to a small boy as thin as a stem of watercress. My little brother, your uncle. We hold our breath. Mom never told us what happened to him. I look from my uncle's hollow face to the watercress on the table, and I am ashamed of being ashamed of my family. Together, we eat it all and make a new memory of watercress. The end.